So this training is all part of a process and Wildlife Direct is working with the women to make them empowered in their community so that they can really take on a role also in wildlife protection. But you can't just look at wildlife as something unique, it has to be part of a huge ecosystem. Training them in something different is looking for a niche market for their products so that we can develop relationships around the world that have an impact directly on the ground and keep sustaining these women and their families and their communities. In the past there's been a lot of human wildlife conflict in this area, but with this project that has diminished significantly, whereas now they have an alternative means of earning a living and that means that they don't necessarily have to rely on horticulture. They can keep their cattle as they've always done. They've got the beadwork and other initiatives going on. And I think that's what this wildlife project has all been about. Nothing <laughs> This is the first time I've worked with um, a group doing beading on denim and it wasn't my idea, it came from Wildlife Direct and I just think it's a great idea. What I've been impressed by there's a, a lot of uh, there's a lot of camaraderie. They're they're joking around as they they stitch. Um, there is a harmonious feel. They've got a good structure in place, which is of course critical before you implement a project. You need to know that the group is well organised. And here we have three groups who have come together and they're working together for a common goal and that structure has been done well. That means whatever we now implement with them has a very high chance of success because they themselves agree with the constitution of their group, of their company and they're ready to now go to the next stage. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> They've been incredibly receptive, they absolutely seem to love it. And a willingness to open their minds and a willingness to understand other markets.